Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm wearing Regina. Today I'm wearing Regina, my pink robe that I love so much from Benefit. It's the best robe ever. Today's video is going to be my go-to glam for any event that I go to. This is literally like the go-to look I do, like maybe 80% of the time I'm going to an event. This is my go-to look. I absolutely love looks like this. I do a nude lip, a nice smoky bottom lash line eye, a bold wing, and glittery lid. And I think it's so pretty and so complimentary on so many different kind of people. This look is also kind of paired with my 12 hour plus makeup, I actually put a poll up on Twitter asking if you guys wanted to see a look that kind of helped ensure that your makeup would stay on for 12 or more hours. This will stay on me all day long. So this is not only my event makeup, this is also makeup that will stay on your face for 12 or plus hours even if you are oily. I am oily and so I really needed to find a routine that would work for me that would keep my makeup on for a long ass time. Before I even get started, a lot of people I know are going to comment. This looks like everything you've ever done before and like you're just like, you're not even creative. Like this is not, this is like exactly what you do always. Um, yeah, that's kind of the point of this video. This is my go-to glam for events. So if you want to comment like, oh my god, you're so boring, you do the same looks all the time. Bitch, this is, not the, this is not the video for it because it's literally, that's the point, okay? That's the fucking point. But yeah, that's what today's video is. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video and you guys do like me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny MUA and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for being here <laughs> and joining the Maniac Fold and family. I love you guys so much. If you guys are watching this, I really do appreciate it. And thank you so much for being here. But yeah, let's go and get into this full face Full glam, 12 hour plus makeup tutorial. get started on today's video. Today I'm going to be doing my full face event routine. This is what I always do at events. Usually if I do my makeup in the morning, I'm out to like midnight and so my makeup will be on for like 12 to 16 hours and it's still looking pretty freaking good. There's no patches on my face. I might get oily throughout the day. I mean, I do get oily throughout the day, but my face is still really, really, really intact. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. So what we're going to do first to keep my makeup on all day, and this is what I like to do always, is I use primer. I'm going to be taking the Step 1 Makeup Forever um, Smoothing Primer. This is great for oily skin. So I like to use primers that have silicone in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the center of the nose, center of the forehead, and blend outwards. I get oiliest in the T-zone, so I'm really focusing the product on the T-zone as well as on my pores and just kind of patting. Patting motions over the pores will really help fill them in. I know it sounds terrible, but filling in your pores is really gonna help keep the makeup looking more smooth and not so texturized. Okay, great, so now we have primer on. I'm primed and ready to go. I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible. This is the foundation. I absolutely love this for oily skin. It's so, honestly, like it's a drugstore foundation. It's like $8, but it works so so well at keeping my oil at bay and keeping it full coverage. So I'm just gonna take that on a beauty blender and I'll put that on the T-zone only. I'm not gonna put it anywhere else. I'm putting that on the nose and a little bit on the forehead. Or basically like my nose and the center of my forehead, that's what gets the most oily. So now what I like to do with, with the rest of the face, I've been doing this a lot recently. This is like my kind of new go-to routine. I've been taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick and the Cogendo Aqua Foundation and mixing these two for the face. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade 120 and that's gonna go on my cheeks. This is a really 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 yellow foundation for me So I use the Cogendo to kind of help neutralize it because that's more of a neutral foundation and to kind of make it a little bit less coverage So I'll put that everywhere. Oof Pinchy way. I'll put that everywhere and this one I'll even put like like on my neck slightly and you guys know I don't like putting liquids on my neck, but because this is a cream I feel a little bit like less less weird about it I don't know something about liquids like, give me the fucking heebie motherfucking jeebs. You feel me? And then I'm gonna take the Cogen Dough, take about two pumps for one side and then two pumps for the other side. I know it's so excessive, but this is really what works for me. And I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and pat that in and really start blending up the foundation. This combination, you guys, has been my go-to for about a month and a half now. I love mixing foundations because you get the best of both worlds. For example, I love the coverage of the Ultra HD stick and the finish is pretty, but I love the finish so much more of the Cogendo. So mixing them together will give me a nice full coverage, luminous finish, very skin-like, but still full coverage AF. And that's what I really like, you know? And then for the neck, I'll just take a buffing brush just to give me some color back to the neck because usually I like to go darker with my foundations just because I feel like in photos it looks better because my highlight will look more prominent. So I really do like that effect. So I'll bring it down my neck so it doesn't look so different and intense, you know? I have been so living for the Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. You guys, this is like one of the best concealers I've ever tried in my life. Full coverage, crease resistant, smells lovely, like 
what? I don't even, I can't explain how much I love this concealer right now. I like to go really full coverage underneath my eyes when I'm doing these events because I need the makeup to stay on all day. This will be an excessive tutorial. It might look, oh my god, like you're putting so much makeup on. Because I am, I'm literally trying to make it last for 16 hours sometimes. So, a bitch gotta do what a bitch gotta do, you know what I mean? So this is what I'm doing. Blends out like a dr like a fucking dream land. Of all the concealers I've ever tried, I think this is the most crease resistant of all the concealers I've ever tried. I don't know how Tarte did it. But I'm glad they did. So I'm going to take a dry beauty blender and I'm going to take the La Prairie Loose Powder. I've been using this a lot recently underneath my eyes because it's so lightweight but still sets everything perfectly. I love this powder. And so I'm going to put a good hearty amount underneath my eyes. Pretty budge resistant. I'm just making, I'm just triple checking here. I'm trying to be for the fucking back row, you know. So then I'm also going to put it in my smile lines, this loose powder right here. A good hearty, hefty amount of it because I'm going to be brushing it off later anyway. This powder is really, really, really good at setting the makeup and helping it be crease resistant. So while the powder is cooking a little bit onto the face, I'm going to be taking the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and the shade Spoon and that's going to go on my highlighted areas. This is going to be my pre-highlight. This is just like, honestly, this color is a little thick, it's a little intense, it's a little glittery. But underneath a highlight, it really makes my highlight pop like no other. And I like when my highlight's popping at events. And then I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the best face powder to keep your makeup on all day long. It's so good. It almost gives you like a full coverage powder effect. It's like the weirdest thing. I can't even explain it. But what I like to do is I'll grab it on the back of a dry beauty blender. On the back of it, I'll pounce the little booty. And I'll pounce this everywhere that I have liquid. Look how much is on my nose. I'm using a lot of product here. If you are oily, this is a step you want to do. I promise you I'm oily and I need to bake this face. And baking, honestly, I'm sure you guys all know this by now, but cooking and baking the face means that you're really allowing powder to settle into the skin and making it almost foolproof that like the foundation and the powder or whatever is not going to come off. You'll notice that when you put on a lot of powder in the beginning of your face, you wait 10 minutes and there's less powder on it because the powder is soaking into your skin. And I know it's kind of bad, like not great for your skin, but it's gonna really ensure that the makeup is on a lot longer. You can use a powder puff for this, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using a dry beauty blender because this is what I have in my vicinity and I don't know where my powder puff went. And we're gonna let that sit for a little while. Our face is setting and it's cooking and it's baking and it's in the kitchen. We're Betty Crocker, we're chilling. Set the neck, nothing too heavy. Just to make sure it doesn't transfer when we're like taking off a shirt. So we're gonna let that settle and cook for a couple minutes and just like, leave the powder that is, you can see that there's like powder here, there's powder here, there's powder here, here. It's a lot of excess powder, but we're gonna be brushing it away after anyway, so don't even worry about it. We're gonna be using another powder to dust it all off. Okay, great, so that's been sitting for a little while now. So now I'm gonna take one more powder and I'm gonna brush off everything on my skin. I'm gonna be taking the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Loose Powder. Patrick is the one that turned me on to this powder. It is absolutely amazing. It's so lightweight, so ultra fine, but it really does give you a nice HD finish. And I'm really just gonna kind of brush that everywhere all over the skin, super, Super lightly. We're not using a lot of this whatsoever. I'm running out of this powder. Fuck. Dust off all the excess powder that I don't need on my skin. And this is just going to give you a really pretty, nice, smooth appearance. Great. So you're now nice and smooth out and nice and matte looking. Nice and nice full coverage. Nice matte looking. I really like how it looks. Okay. So now I'm going to be going in with some bronzer. I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs Tantric Bronzer. This is my go-to bronzer. It has been for a couple months now. This is what I always wear at every single event. This is just my go-to bronzer. I love it. I love the color. It's stunning. And it blends so nicely. And I'm just taking this on a Morphe E2 brush. I'm just going to go and bronze up the temples. I like to really bronze up my temples and my face because I really like to look more bronzed and glowy at events. Because usually there's flash photography and I'm already so light that I really do like to have some dimension to the skin. So I will be using a lot of bronzers and contouring and things like that. So that's what we're doing. I'm just putting this all over. My temples and on my cheeks. This is probably my favorite bronzer I've ever tried because it's the most blendable and it's the one that least picks up on my dry patches and on my patches that don't take pigment. So now that we're nice and bronzy and glowy and beautiful looking, <laughs> we're gonna go and take some highlighter now. I like to go in with a Morphe M510 brush. I just love this brush so much. It's great, it picks up a nice amount of product and it puts down a lot of product as well. So that's why I like this brush a lot for using highlighter. Um, what highlight should we go in with, guys? I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the Champagne Pop Champagne Splits. Um, I don't really ever use this blush at all, but the Champagne Pop color is freaking amazing. And so, I mean, honestly, Jacqueline killed it, of course, again, with the Champagne Pop color. Like, I forgot how much I loved it, and then I used it, like, in a tutorial recently, and I was like, oh. We're just gonna pile that bad boy on the cheekbones. Just lightly go over. See that shit? Look how glowy that is. Damn! 
Whenever I'm going to events, I kind of like to put the highlighter lightly above my brow bone to catch in the photography. I will always take a lighter highlighter, it doesn't matter which one. This is the Sleek Solstice Palette. Uh, you guys know I love this. And I'll take a little bit of that really bright one right here, and I'll do it at the toppest most point, just barely, so that my cheekbone, like in certain angles, will look really like blinding as fuck, you know? For blush, if people are ever wondering what blushes I'm wearing at events ever, it's always Becca Flower Child and Becca Wild Honey mixed together. I'll go in first with the Flower Child and then I'll go in with Wild Honey, literally on just a brush, dust it off the excess and start going in. And I'll blend it right between the bronzer and the highlighter. So as you can see, it's just nice blush color that just looks so flattering and pretty and it will look so nice on so many different people. This is a fun tutorial because it's cool to be able to like literally tell you guys like all my products I use on my face when I'm going to an event because a lot of people always ask me and I'm always like oh my god like there's so much involved with it I need to just film a tutorial so finally now that it's happening I'm like thank god. So now I'm going to be going in with this. This is the shade Breakup by Makeup Geek which is a porcelain type of contour shade on a Morphe E50. So I'm going to go in and start really just carving out the cheek with this really nice cool tone contour color. My skin is very warmed up and bronzy from the bronzer, obviously, and the blush and stuff like that. So I'm really just really working in this cool tone shade to make sure that we get some nice like definition on the outer corner of my cheek. I love the Makeup Geek contour shades. They're so beautiful. Marlena killed it with these. Good job, babe. I freaking love them. So now I'll go in with a more highlighty type powder. I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Instamark filter. You guys know I'm obsessed with this powder. And I'll take a sharp like brush, thing, something like the Morphe M438, and I'll load up this color. I'll do a little bit by my nose to make it look like I have a smaller nose and just kind of pinch the highlight together towards the nostrils. And then I'll also put it underneath my contour to make it look like a more sharp, defined line. Right about here. To really start cleaning it up. So as you can see, now it looks like a more sharp, defined contour. Now we're going to do a little bit of nose snatching because I always snatch the nose when I'm at events, you know? So I'm going to take that same contour shade that we were using and just a little, like, eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to run that at the top of my nose and bring that bad boy all the way down to start snatching the nose to make it look a little bit more petite and small. I am a fucking dude and I like to have more of a petite looking nose. But I'm really not down for freaking a rhinoplasty. So we're kind of just meeting it in the middle here. I mean, I'm not against it. I'm not against plastic surgery at all. I love it. I love plastic surgery. But I'm just saying, I'm really not in the mood to go through a nose job right now. You know, I'm just not feeling it. If I wanted to, I would, but eh, maybe in the future, who cares? But now what I will do is I'll cook the sides of my nose. I'll take this Morphe M458. Great for nose cooking. Amazing. And I'm just going to press this with translucent powder. I'll usually take the Laura Mercier translucent and I'll put it on the brush and really start to cook the sides of my nose. So this is kind of what I have my face at. This is how I like to do my face when I'm going to events or whatever. I am oily and it still stays on. It really works though. Cooking with the powder, it works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off of camera while my nose kind of cooks in a little bit more and I'll be right back. Okay, great, so we have the brows completely done. So let's go on with the eyes now. Whenever I'm doing an event makeup, I always go between these two palettes, especially this one recently. I've been going through my palette and the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. These have been my go-to palettes for events and these are the transitions that I like the most. So I'm just gonna be mixing interchangeably between these two. Um, feel free to just get one or the other, it doesn't really matter, but I use these always, like all the time. Look how tore up my palette is. I've been using this bad boy for a while now, and like you guys know, this has been getting some love. Okay guys, before I even start doing my makeup though, I completely forgot, I need to prime my eyelids. This is my go-to primer. It is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. This will keep my makeup on for literally 12 plus hours. Really does ensure that my shadow does not crease, my liner doesn't really transfer as much when I'm using this. I have oily eyelids, and so if you have oily eyelids, I would definitely suggest using something like the Smashbox 24 hour or like the MAC 24 hour one. They're very, 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 very similar. I mean, they're both owned by S.A. Lauder. I'm Tino Shane. Very small amount of it. It's completely clear. I mean, if you have like veiny lids, you might want to use a different primer because this one doesn't really give any coverage or anything like that. Honestly, I don't really care because it really keeps the makeup on a lot longer. And I noticed of all the primers, of all the eye primers I've ever used, this one has been the most godsend to me. <laughs> so now I'm going with Beaches and Cream and I'm gonna go ahead and take that into the crease. And this is just gonna act as our transition shade. You guys, I'm a freaking crazy psychopath about blending and transitions and making sure everything looks really, really pretty. This is from my palette. This is just going to ensure that I have everything blended seamlessly. It's just a really pretty beigey transition shade. Works great on light to medium skin tones. 
and if you're if you're darker in complexion, it will work as a great matte highlight. Cool, so now that we have Beaches and Cream into the crease, as you can see, it's very, very, very light. It's not too intense, but it does definitely give you a nice transition, and that's kind of what I was going for. So... I'm gonna take a Morphe M433 and I'm gonna go in with Sora and Frappe mixed and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner and start to really add some definition and dimension and I'm gonna put Sora and Frappe into the crease giving it heavier on the outer corner and then I'm just grabbing a little bit more Frappe taking that a little bit closer in to the inner part of my eye keeping my eye open I really want to be sure where I'm placing the shadow putting that right into the crease and upper crease so now we have that on the outer corner and it's nice and defined I'm gonna take the shade Aphrodite from my palette on a Morphe G27 and that's gonna go on the outer corner and really start to add definition and dimension into the look to really start to bring some life back to it and start to give it some really nice cool depth and 4 through 3, just blend out those edges. It's too harsh and too stark. I'm actually going to take some of the colors from the Anastasia palette as well. I'm going to take the shade Golden Ochre. If I can grab a fucking motherfucking brush. I just like how this color looks mixed with the oranges. I'm going to put that right above the Sora and Frappe shade just to give me some more transition and just look more of a seamless blend and not make it look so orange. This is going to help kind of neutralize it and not look so, 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 so warm. From my palette, the shade Luna, and that's going to go on to my lid to give us a nice, bright, open, awake lid. And this is actually going to be our base color, and I'm going to be putting glitter on top of this. Honestly, you guys, it's so funny that, like, I created this palette. Like, it's literally my go-to. I use this so, so much. I'm just so happy that, like, I created something that I actually use all the fucking time. It's not something that I'm, like, I didn't just create it just to create it, just to, just to put my name on something, you know? I created it because I truly love it. And this is something I use so often, and I'm so happy that I've been getting such positive feedback, and I have been since it first launched, from you guys on this palette. It just makes me so happy that you guys love it too. So I'm going to take the Ardency in Gel Eyeliner Pencil, and that's going to go in my lower lash line, or my lower waterline. This one and the Marc Jacobs one are my favorite pencils. Like, they're just so good. And then I'm taking a Morphe E43 brush. I'm going to blend out this black liner. The reason I'm even doing this is to make sure that there's no skin marks in between the black and my lashes and now that we're blended out with the black I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia palette taking red ochre and sienna on that same morphe brush and I'm gonna blend out the black so this is what the bottom of the lash line should look like it's just nice and smoky and just really really pretty and just gives me a nice little oomph of something something so now for the fun part I'm gonna be taking the Mac reflex pearl glitter and this is gonna go all over my eyelid I absolutely love this glitter I literally wear this so much so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Too Faced glitter glue this is my favorite glitter glue I've ever tried it just works so 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 well and then I'm gonna spread that on my eye with a morphe m421 this is like my glitter glue slash packing glitter brush it's like so fucking torp and nasty but I mean I just found one brush I like this is great because it's so flat and defined I'm just gonna place that on the lid and just kind of press lightly everywhere all over Luna and then I'm gonna take reflex pearl on my like index finger or whatever finger you want to do or a brush whatever and just press that right over the eye as you can see it looks freaking amazing I will never not be obsessed with this glitter. It's so good to me. And then for the inner corner, I'm going to take the brush and apply it on the inner corner because my, fing my fingers are too fat. I love it. I, this is why I always do this look at events because it's so freaking gorgeous. I'm obsessed. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some eyeliner. My go-to eyeliner always is the Kat Von D Trooper Liner. I love the how easy it is to apply. I love that it stays on my eyes all day. It doesn't crease on me. It doesn't crack on me. And it doesn't transfer on my upper um, crease because I do have hooded lids kind of so I'm just going to use this as my wing going from the bottom of the lash line outwards and then just connecting it like so and then just filling it in from there okay great so I went ahead and I filled in my liner and I applied my lashes that I always 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 wear at events these are like just like my go-to ones in the style Bella by New Bound Sum I use these all the time I just think they're so absolutely stunning they're so flary so intense so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in to see what they look like up close So now that we're done with the face, I'm gonna move on to the lips now. One of my go-to lip liners that I always use all the time, besides NYX Peekaboo Neutral, is the Stark Naked by Urban Decay. I just think this is a really pretty, nice nude lip liner. You guys know I love my nudes. <laughs> and so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this lip liner all over the lips. This is like one of my go-to lip liners. I think they're very nice, very creamy, very pigmented. I love Urban Decay ones. 
So once I'm lip lined and overdrawn like a fucking cholita from the fucking barrio, I'm going to apply the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mannequin Liquid Lipstick. This has been my go-to lip for all events. This is literally my favorite color that Jeffree has ever done. It's absolutely perfection. I cannot get over it. I love it so much. I wear it all the time. I was actually wearing this in the video with Jeffree when we did the Q&A. A lot of people were asking what lip I was wearing. It's mannequin. And this is the final look. <laughs> And that is it for the entire look. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. I had so much fun. This is seriously like such a fun look. This is what I always do. So like it's so easy for me to like get into the groove and do this makeup because this is what I always fucking do. But I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well. Everything, of course, I talked about will be linked down below as well as affiliate codes, links, whatever you might need will be linked down below. I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you. <laughs> I just want to like... I'm a little hyper. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier. <coughs> Laura Mercier. Hey. Dude, I cannot wait to be like buff and shit, and I'll just do short tutorial shirtless. That's gonna be so much better. So I don't have to fucking worry about sweating. <laughs> you fucking dropped. Okay, guys, so let's go again. Start. <coughs> so now I'm gonna go with some bronzer. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be taking the. Ma. Mother of Pearl. What, bitch? Like, don't fucking try me. I'm not the one. I'm not the queen to try, bitch. Look at this eye line. So, pitch me the fuck off and trying to stick this on my fucking vagina.